You know that how to create the HTTP server in Node. In this lecture, we're going to make HTTP request. We're going to understand how to create HTTP request in Node. We use HTTP request to send the request to the server and get the response from the server. So let's take a look at how to create a simple HTTP request in Node. What I'm going to do is here I'm going to first require the HTTP module. So here I'm going to say constant HTTP is equal to and then call the require function and in the double quote I'm going to say HTTP. Now once I have my HTTP module I'm going to call the get method of HTTP module to create HTTP request. So here I'm going to say HTTP dot get. I'm going to call the get method and then inside this get method I'm going to pass some arguments. To the first argument I'm going to specify the URL where I want to send the request. I'm going to send the request to the opennotify.org website. So in this get method, I'm going to specify single quote and here I'm going to say HTTP colon double forward slash then specify API dot open and then specify hyphen notify dot org and I'm going to just go astros dot json file. So I'm going to send the request to this astros dot json file and now just for that just specify comma here and to the second argument we are going to get the response from this URL. As a second argument, we need to specify a callback function where we get the response from the URL. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to say response and then call the arrow function. So what we're going to do is we want to just grab the information from this API. So we will be making a get request using this get method. Therefore, we call here get method. This method takes two arguments, the API URL and the callback function detecting what to do with response from the request. The open notify is the open source project to provide a simple programming interface for some of NASA's awesome data. If you want to know more about this open notify, you can just open your browser and just head on to api.open-notify.org. You will find more about this API on this web page. Inside this get method, I'm going to just do some work with this response. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to just simply specify response dot and then I'm going to call a method on and to this method I'm going to specify first argument. So I'm going to specify here data. So when we get the data from this URL, the on method will automatically trigger. So I'm going to pass here event data to this on method as a second argument. I'm going to pass a callback function and here I'm going to just add that data in the variable. So here I'm going to say chunk. So I'm going to create a parameter chunk and specify callback function here and just for that I'm going to just concatenate all the data so I'm going to say here data plus equal to and specify here chunk just like this don't forget to specify here semicolon inside this get method I'm going to call a method on this method takes the event as a first argument and callback function as a second argument the data event collects the data from the request so I'm going to use here data and collect this data from this URL and just out of this method, I'm going to call another method to end this request. So here I'm going to say response dot on and to this on method, I'm going to pass event. So here I'm going to specify event end. Just out of that, I'm going to specify the callback function. So here I'm going to specify a simple callback function without any parameter. And inside it, I'm going to just simply say console dot log and print my data. So now as you can notice, I'm going to get the data using this on data event and store it in this data variable. Now as you can notice, I did not initialize this data variable. So let me first initialize it before this method. So up here, I'm going to create let data is equal to and initialize it with empty string like this. I'm going to just get all the data from this chunk variable and concatenate it with this data variable. And then I'm going to print this data variable by ending the request using this end event. I'm going to save the changes. As you can notice, your HTTP request is now created. Now let me execute this file and show you the result. I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say node index.js. When I press enter, as you can notice, I'm going to have the result what I want. So this open API is going to return the result something like this. Now keep in mind, once all the data have been received from the request, using this data event, the on end event is automatically fired and then you will get the result what you want. This URL 
is return this data as string. So as you can notice, we have the string data as a result. And what if you want to convert this data in JSON format? You can use a simple json.parse method. For example, let's say I want to convert this data in JSON format. So here I'm going to specify let json data is equal to, then I'm going to specify json.parse. I'm going to call a method of JSON parse. And then I'm going to specify here my data variable. And just after that, just use this variable right here. That's it. Save the changes. Let me clear the screen and execute this statement again. So as you can notice, getting the data with JSON format is always a best practice because it's easy to read and it's easy to understand. So I hope you understand how to make a simple HTTP GET request using Node. Next, we'll talk about how to create the HTTP POST request.